All right, so the budget is going to decide what you can do with this next question. So I'd kind of like to talk through three different levels um, of cameras. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can go from like maybe somebody can figure out where they are right now and then take the next step forward, whatever that is. So let's start with the most inexpensive camera setup that churches can use to live stream. What would you recommend? You know the world of cameras, right? Like you can mm-hmm. you can spend five grand on one camera, or 20 grand on one camera, or 50 grand on one camera. So to me, inexpensive is... A thousand dollars, like under a thousand dollars for a body and a lens setup. Does that sound right? Yeah. Is that is Go that expensive enough? Okay, because this is what I'm recommending for kind of our beginner live stream setup that we that we have, like the video I made on my YouTube channel on the course. Um, the Sony A6400 is kind of my favorite go to recommendation. It's a mirrorless camera that has a APS-C sensor in it, so it's a larger sensor that's it's the camera i'm using right now that's what this one i'm looking right at it so you guys can see for yourself like i think it looks pretty good you know like it's uh it does look good yeah so in and i have the so the lens on it right now it's a nicer it's a sigma 16 millimeter lens f14 so that's why you know i've got the nice like blurry background and stuff um but this setup okay so i think that camera with the this nicer lens was probably 1200 bucks, but you can get some less expensive lenses that um, are like two to 300 bucks a piece. And it puts you right around a thousand to 1100, I think, when you went all said and done. So I would always lean more towards the cameras that have like what's the biggest sensor you can get for your dollar. Um, and if you can get APS uh, C sensor type or uh, micro four thirds, probably at the smallest, and then anything bigger, like the Canon C200s have you know, super 35 millimeter sensors, then you can get full frame sensors on some of the nicer higher end cameras out there. But the Sony a6400, that's why I think it's a great starting point. And then there's so many great lens. They have a huge variety of lenses. You can get higher end lenses. You can get some budget friendly ones. You can get one that can zoom in plenty far enough for like a nice close follow cam. Yeah. I think that's my first recommendation. So let's say somebody's in the situation you just talked about with the Sony camera and they're ready to take the next step. What is that? Then the next step, I would I would look at the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. Um, that's going to be, I think, the best bang for your buck for really just a video-only camera that has high dynamic range. It has a super 35-millimeter sensor, so you just got a bigger sensor. And now you can start using Canon... Uh, EF glass on it. Really, it could be any EF mount glass, like Sigma or whatever, but I like Canon L glass. Um, really sharp, really great images. That would be the next recommendation. And then you're looking at about $2,000 for the camera body. They just came out with a new uh, Blackmagic Pocket 6K like a week ago. Um, maybe you could find some used ones for even better price now. And then start finding some good lenses. So my recommendations for most, it kind of depends on the size of your church building and and how long the throw is for your camera. But the 70 to 200 F4 lens by Canon, um, it's like a, it's like a really inexpensive, great lens. And I find with that, that particular setup, like if you're doing a follow cam, um, you don't really need the F 2.8 lower F stop. Like, it's kind of overkill when you're zoomed in, especially like you're going to get plenty of depth to that, to that image when you're focused on your subject. So, um, I found one of those lenses used for $700, which is a great deal. And then, uh, maybe for my other, if I had like a two camera setup, like I would, I would have like maybe, uh, 24 to 105 that could just kind of zoom in however I want it to, depending on where I place it. Uh, prime lenses, like a 50 millimeter, or um, a 24 to 70 if someone's like walking around with the camera. Um, so again, we got so many great videos on, on my YouTube channel. Like go to, that's what Bethel uses for the most part is the Blackmagic 6Ks. Uh, and you could see if you search Bethel multi-camera setup, you'll probably find that on YouTube. And we, we go through like each of their camera positions. So even though it's like, it's Bethel and they have a humongous reach, like they have actually very modest uh, camera gear um, that they've only recently started to do some updates. But um, yeah, that's my next recommendation. Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. Start getting some Canon glass. 
Okay, so let's say that somebody has the money to upgrade like their primary camera to the Black Magic, but they still have like the Sony A6400. Can they use that as like their secondary camera and will they blend well together? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you can I I think the the selection of like you can kind of select the different LUTs and creative styles on the cameras. You can adjust all those settings um to to easily get them matched. Like we at uh, my last church, we used the Pocket 6K for our main follow camera, and then we had two GH5s, and I felt like I was able to match those to look really consistent. Cool. So is there a next level after the Blackmagic Pocket that you would recommend? Of course. there's uh, <laughs> Always. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of levels. So uh, I think the next level there... I really like the look of the Canon C200. So those you're looking at a camera body being five, six, well, the price might have just come down, 5,500 bucks or something like that. Um, and the camera's been out for a couple of years now. You Don't you have one of those, kid? I have a C100. Okay. So the C200 has the 4K capability, which is kind of overkill. C100 actually, I kind of forget about that camera. Like that, that could for a 1080p broadcast environment could actually really work great. So, um, and I really like how the, you know, the Black Magic has some decent LUTs you can put on it. You can make your own LUTs. I really like when the Canon, um, the Rec 709 LUT that you apply to the footage before it gets sent out of the camera, it just looks great. You don't really have to touch it at all. It just expose the image properly and it's awesome. So I really like that. And you guys can look at um, Red Rocks Church. They are all C200s in their setup. And Something about the color, the dynamic range is really good. Um, cameras like that also have built-in ND filters um, if you need them. The, the Black Magic, the new Black Magic 6K has ND filters built in now. Um, but there's something about the form factor of like a true, like I don't, a big boy cinema camera like the C200 I just really like. Um, and I think it works great. And, and you can see it working well at, at a lot of churches. Um, the other thing... You could, you could consider is the red Komodo. So that's what the guys at Bethel recently upgraded to. It's, it's a couple of those. Not for all their cameras, but I think that camera is around also 5 to 6K for the camera body. So a similar price point um, and really good, really good color science and technology there. Mixing sound seems complicated, but it doesn't have to be. Get access to our stress-free training to help you create great sound at church by visiting churchsoundmadesimple.com.